Yeah! What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Today, different little hunt. Look who we got with us. This Old guy. Jordan. He's here yet again. He <laughs> can't keep me away. <laughs> We're, well, I told you guys, we're gonna be together just doing a bunch of random hunts. Lots of duck hunting, lots of goose hunting. We've been getting it in on the ducks and goose and today uh, we're like, let's do something different. It was supposed to be blowing 30 mile an hour today. Yeah. It's like five mile an hour. Yeah. The weatherman, wrong again. Who would have known, right? Literally Kansas, uh, when they say, oh, it's supposed to be blowing 25 mile an hour in the morning and there's sun, they're saying it's supposed to be sunny don't count on the wind that early it ain't gonna happen now it might uh it might increase here by noon you know to the 20 25 mark but they were way off today like way off so we've been debating we're like man good wind like that you all know that i love to get out on the geese giving the geese such good old try the old bobby guy try you know what i mean when there's good wind and uh last night i made the call i'm like yeah let's not do it i gotta upload a video in the morning i got a lot of work to do let's just go out and try a little crow hunt it'll be a lot easier you know well thank goodness i decided to do that because there ain't a cloud in the sky it was supposed to be mostly cloudy and it was supposed to be 30 mile an hour wind and it's just bluebird skies and a beautiful beautiful day but today uh, we're gonna be doing a couple different things we're gonna be crow hunting first right looking forward to that and then i don't know if we're gonna get anything now i, I don't know and then we're gonna go check jordan's traps yep. how many traps you got out now uh i've got two coyote sets and six coon traps so, a so lot not of... very much but it i'm sure we got something right that's what he said he said bob these coon traps that i put out i can guarantee you that we're gonna have at least something one thing on all these traps now i told you guys I'm gonna get into some trapping. And these videos here, I'm, th these are me learning. You know, I don't have my own sits out yet. I, if we have a uh, animal on the trap, on Jordan's trap, he's gonna uh, dispatch that animal, not me. Uh, so I am learning. This, these videos are Bobby learning how to trap correctly. Uh, well, it's now nine o'clock. How long have we been scouting? Probably an hour. We'll right at an hour. An hour. Uh, we've seen birds flying when Bobby and Jordan sees birds in the air flying in one direction and a bunch of them. What do we do? <laughs> Jordan was like, whoa, Bob, whoa. I'm not braced well. <laughs> uh, we found a field, uh, but a buddy of ours is hunting it. Uh, so we're going to keep scouting. The plan is I want to find a feed. I got, I want to show you guys. Oh, hold on. Oh, and then we're going to crow hunt first, try a couple spots. And then we're gonna check Jordan's traps. So, sorry for the, <laughs> sorry for the delay. But scouting the old waterfowl comes first. Whoo! Well, we are here, and uh, got a my... Fred decoy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look at the Fred decoy we got going on. Yep, yeah, that's my dog. Look at my decoy bucket, though. I've had better decoy buckets. Okay. This is what we got going on today, though. Oh, the good ammunition today, boy. Oh yeah. We're gonna be shooting some high bird today. Federal premium high bird, y'all. I'm telling you, if you guys have been looking for a heavy hitting lead shot, federal high bird is the way to go. Um, pigeons, crows, pheasants, it don't matter what it is, dove. Bam! It's almost too much for dove. It's yeah. almost, it's pretty, and it has a dove on it. They yeah. put a dove on well, it. Well, it's cause it's seven and a half. I'd use it on Oh, it's seven though. and a half shot. So it, this is 12, 12 gauge ounce and a uh, eighth. Yep. Seven and a half shot, two and three quarters, 1,275 feet per second. It's not the fastest, but boy, does it pack a punch. So what we're gonna do, the wind is increasing. If you hear, <laughs> I'm sorry. We're on some public land, a little bit of river access where Jordan has his traps already seen a bunch of crows down here so we're we're gonna get back to his traps check them we're right on the river public land river trapping crow hunting let's give it a go oh oh and by the way if you haven't subscribed to jordan's channel you need to i'll link it down in the description below this is what he does he's teaching bob how to trap out here y'all what's your uh, most viewed videos that you've been putting up uh most viewed i got some pheasant farm videos uh butchering videos and trapping videos. The one that I didn't agree with, he trapped a coyote and he did a catch clean cook. Just go over there and check it out. Well, here we are. We are on the river. Like I said, public river hunting. I'm telling you, 
a little bit different than any public river hunt I've ever done though. Yeah, public river hunt, public crow hunt, public trapping. Today's a public type of day. Oh, the last river video I did was a duck hunt and y'all loved it, absolutely loved it. If you guys wanna see more duck river hunts, stuff down on the river, drop a comment down below, let Jordan and I know. We'll get down here, we'll do some more river hunting for y'all if you like it. I love the river, dude. Oh, yeah. I, this, dude, think about nice and just, look how just nice and flow, it's not crazy. Dude, decoys would look great. See, I'm thinking decoys out here on this little island. Yeah. He's here and we can sit back in these trees. For the crows? Yeah. You wanna try crows right here? Mm. Let's do it. Why not? Let's do it. Well, mm. here we are. We're at uh we're at Jordan's first trap and this is where we're gonna crow hunt as well. I don't know if we have something, do we? Well the trap is moved. Oh it's moved? That's kind of scary. Oh, so something was messing with it. Yeah, it was. It's cleaned out. So that's a miss. miss that is a me. miss. Oh, well, I do not like that. <laughs> I do not like that. We'll Jordan that. does not like losing like that. No, I'm a sore loser. To so, say the least. so you got a foothold. That's what that is, right? That's a dog proof trap right there. So what type of uh, setup we got going on here? Uh, this is a dog proof raccoon trap. The reason I'm running dog proofs down here, because I can do cubby sets on here and it would be great, be even better. But there are people that walk the river with their pets and I do not want that in my life. Right, right, that'd be a bad deal. That'd be bad. So look at uh, how he's got it here. He's got it tied to a root of a fallen tree mm -hmm. right next to the river. That's pretty slick, dude. It should work. So how many, it would have worked. How many do you have back here? Six. Six total, okay. Well, nothing on this one. You gonna reset this one or leave it? Uh, I'll rebait it here and try it again. Gotcha. But this is our crow hunting spot, so we're gonna throw out the decoys. I didn't bring the collar. Oh, that won't work quite as well. I gotta then. go back and get, did we load it? Yeah, it's in the back. It's in the back seat. Yeah. I gotta go grab the darn e collar. Oh. Yeah, let's check. Yeah, while okay. we're back here, we'll just go ahead and check the rest of the traps. And uh, and then we'll go get the e-collar, set it out, and try some river crows, baby. <laughs> He's disgruntled. <laughs> well, I was like, well, let's go check the, the next trap. It's literally 15 yards I, I from right, right there. Look, we got a coon. Oh, boy. Because I can stand on that little bank there behind it. Yeah. And how are you going to dispatch this guy? Are you going to dispatch him with the uh, shotgun? No. You're not? No, I got a 22. Oh, you brought a 22. Yeah. Ah! So Jordan has a massive raccoon on a trap here. I'll show you in a minute. What'd you bring us? SR-22. Little SR-22 action. Great nice. Great little trap gun. Yep. So due to, uh, I just want to get this out of the way before we even show the raccoon, due to YouTube uh, and, and the demonetization of the channel, y'all, we're not going to be able to show us dispatching this raccoon but we're gonna go film him, go show you the trap and everything else. I hope you guys like these trapping videos. If you do, before we get into it here, uh, hit the thumbs up button for Jordan and I, and, and especially for Jordan, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be getting out here and learning how to do this. Y'all have been requesting me to get out there and trap. Well, here we are. But check it out here, here he is. All the way down this embankment, go ahead. Oh, it's gonna hurt. I'm old, Jordan. Actually, you're older than me, aren't you? You're younger than me. A little bit. Barely. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, I'm old, Jordan. <laughs> he is sitting on this branch, not moving. He hadn't moved one bit ever since we came up here. I mean, his eye, he blinks. That's it. So Jordan just uh, had a great point. Check it out here. There he is. He's back in the trees here. He was up on here. But he's tethered right here, like Jordan just said. He's got about a four-foot lead. Tell him, Jordan. Preach to him. Okay. So he's tethered here at four feet, and then he's got to reach with his other paw yet. He can get another foot probably. I'm within his trap circle, so he can reach me right now. If he decides to, he can charge over here, and he can probably get pretty far up my leg before I can do anything about it. So, I mean, I don't, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have rabies, but if he does, yeah. I am 100% in harm's way. Right. Self-inflicted harm's way, I might add. Right. So just, I mean, if you're new to trapping and you want to try and start it, this is an easy thing to do but be sure you're out of range. They're wild animals. I mean, this this is a wild animal. He looks cute and cuddly, 
but believe me, you get close enough and he turns into a snarling mass of fur in a hurry. <laughs> These raccoons, they do look cute. They look like little teddy bears. Little trash panda. Trash panda. That's Absolutely. a good one. That's a trash panda. But they could probably tear your boy a new one. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Well, Jordan's gonna get the deed done. Yeah, I got a clear shot. You jerk. Yeah, he, it, it, Jordan's good about wanting to one and done it here. He dead. That boy dead. Yep. Yep. Got her done. Good shot. Really good shot. It's my obligation to be ethical. Right. Right. It's a good point. Like Jordan just stated, y'all, it is his obligation to be ethical to uh, make sure that he dispatches uh, the animal as fast as he can, as harmless, you know. Um, that's important. Um, you don't want to have the animals suffer any longer than they've had to on that trap. Now with trapping, you are legally bound to check traps once every 24 hours at minimum. In Kansas. In Kansas. Some, some right, so in Kansas, like Jordan just said, in Kansas, our law, is you have to check your traps at minimum once every 24 hours. So being ethical about dispatching the animal on the trap is important, y'all. Don't just go crazy and, and shoot them, you know, in the butt and then in the stomach and then in the head. Just wait, take a good shot, get them done. That is a great coon. All right, now one thing that I like to look about for size on coons, if his tail looks little, I mean, look how short that tail is. Yeah. If it looks like a little tail, yeah. that's a big coon. Ah, he really? He doesn't have the greatest color, right. but he is a good coon, though. He's pretty darn big, man. He's a good size one. Is it a boar? It's a boar. Yep. Good coon. So that means a boy. Yeah. <laughs> Jordan, so this is our second trapping adventure. Like I said, I'm not doing the trapping. I'm just going with him. And in the first one, he was like, yeah, we got this type of holding, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wait, you're talking alien to me, man. You're not talking waterfowl right now. Look at this brute, though. Holy smokes. That is, uh, this is the first coon trap adventure I have ever been on, Jordan. You're killing the game. It's fun. It is fun. And it's pretty easy. And it's easy. Yep. Hey, y'all like the waterfowl hunts? But I'm going to tell you what, your boy is 33 years of age. And I'm telling you, when we sit 60 dozen, 70 dozen, 50 dozen, 100 dozen decoys, and I got to get up at 3.30 in the a.m., these are the type of videos I really, really am appreciating more bringing to y'all. So, again, if you like them, please just drop a comment down below and let me know you like them. Let me know what you want us to trap next. So, I'm going to stick some of these crackers around the outside edge here. And we're just going to put a handful of trail mix along the edge. Maybe a little bit more. There we go. <laughs> trail mix. Perfect. So this is what he's got going on. He reset the trap. This is where he's got it tethered to, to the tree. He got a dead coon. And he found some trail mix in the back of my truck. And he's like, hey, can we use this as bait? And I'm like, dude, that's old. Like. That's, you're gonna use that as raccoon bait? And he's like, dude, raccoons eat anything. You're being way nicer though. I didn't ask, I just like, I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, now that he's teaching me the way to do this, it's a lot easier than I ever expected. We're gonna get into a lot of trapping, y'all. Well, we're just walking the river, checking his traps. <sighs> We've got like three more to check. He has one right here on this big down tree. It's nothing, it wasn't touched, wasn't set off, didn't need rebated. So, so uh, this is uh, a lot easier than I ever imagined. I, I kind of looked at trapping as being intimidating because I never tried it, but it's just like anything. Get out there, you try it once, you learn it, and you're like, that's not near as bad as I thought. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you gave me the look. But we're at a, is this the last trap we checked? Two sets here. Two sets. I was sure, I was sure that one would have something. It's Nothing? right next to a trail. Oh yeah. Oh, there is a path, oh, right, is down a path the right down there. There's a little path. Uh, look. Little path. What? You he's, got one? Got another one? He's laying on his back just looking up here. Oh, yep. I see him right there. So, there uh, he is. We got another one, boys. Check him out. You see him right there? So what this is, this is a little embankment as you can tell, on the edge of the river. And right at the edge of it, you see tons and tons of tracks. It's a highway for these coons. They just stay along the water's edge 
and uh, boom, you nail them, you know? So awesome. This is this opens up a whole new world to me, man. This this is great. If you guys are liking the video again, smash the thumbs up button. I gotta get down here. We it's gotta a check. Big boy too. Is it a bigger one? I don't know that's bigger, but it's a big one. Oh boy. Oh, Hopefully I don't bust my butt. <sighs> no, we're good. A whole lot more to me. Little ones. Here we are. I let go and I'm not a fan Oh, he's this. a big one. Yeah. They're angry. So. Check him yeah. out. Check him out. He is a fat dude. Chunky. He's chunky. So again, guys, uh, he's pretty wound up. He's got that cord all wound up, don't he? Yeah, he can't move really in, in his uh, four-foot circle here. But you're good. Go ahead. Oh, yep. That boy, you, you know the line. I don't even have to say it. Well, reset the trap here. A little tough, huh? Well, with these gloves, I'm not used to doing this with gloves on. Gotcha. But. There she is. It's easy. Sitting ready to go. So what they do is there's a little circle, I probably can't see it down the deep hole, but there's a little circle in there that's connected to this. They grab it, pull it, pulls that out, slaps it back, caught. It's all new to me, y'all. It's all new to me. But here we go, another male. Check him out. About the same size. Yeah. I bet they're pretty identical in size, huh? Yep. Stubby Big old dude. Tail. Big old dude. I can't Woo. hold him out like this real long. So. Yeah. Look how strong I am. <laughs> I'll be doing them one arm curls with that bad boy. Well, that's I've it. I to reset that. Damn. Oh, you got to reset that one? Yeah, I got to reset this. Well, that's all the traps. Uh, we checked six traps down here, two coons. That's a pretty good ratio for a morning. But what type of trapping do y'all do? You got to let me know uh, if there's something cool, something different. Uh, I know I do the pigeon trapping, which those are coming back, like I said. But what type of trapping do you guys really want to see? You know what I mean? It's like a whole new world I'm getting into. It's going to be great because I love the river. And the river, man, if it's this easy, I'll do it all the time. Well, back here at the truck. We put the old crow decoys away for now, y'all. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I do have some dog food. Check it out. That would have been the perfect bait. Dog food is the perfect bait, huh? That's that's why I, I take dog food, Kool-Aid, and if I have some, I'll put fish oil in it. Fish oil, I'll be darned. But what a morning on the river. We took the crow decoys with us. I forgot the e-collar in the truck. And I don't know, it was, a, it was about a half mile in and out. You know, we can save the crow hunting for another day, y'all. Oh, yeah, but no crow hunting today. We're gonna save it. Uh, we got down there, Jordan shot two raccoons. So if there's any crows in the area, that probably scared them out. And on top of it, Jordan was like, dude, I haven't even heard a crow down here. Nope. So I honestly don't think it was worth the effort walking back to the truck, getting the speaker, calling. I don't, I just don't think it was worth it today. But stick around, uh, that means that we have to do it on another video, right? <clears throat> crow hunting will be coming. I actually just ordered a ton of crow decoys. Last year, y'all were like, Bob, you need a lot more crow decoys. You're not gonna do much with, with five of them. So a lot more crow uh, hunting to come. I'm sorry we didn't do it today again. But uh, really, really good news is before we started trapping, we found one heck of a goose feed for tomorrow and we already got permission on it. So lots of juicy videos to come, y'all. And I'm really hoping you like these river trapping videos. Oh, I didn't scare him. I tried, I tried. Y'all enjoyed that, the day that I scared Fred a handful of times. But good video, good video. And uh, one reason why I really like today's video is because it got me into something new. I stepped into new territory. I stepped out of my comfort zone, which is water fouling, and I stepped into something new. I really encourage you guys, if you haven't tried something new and you've been wanting to do it, it doesn't matter what it is in life. If it's a style of hunting that you've never done, trapping, maybe something completely not even hunting related. You know what I mean? Get out there, guys. Explore. We only have one life while we're on this planet. We only have one chance. Get out there. Enjoy what you can. Experience everything you can as long as it's good for you. And most of all, make memories. Make new friends. It's important. Get out there, y'all. But if you guys like this video, smash that thumbs up button for you, boy. And if you want to help support the channel, you know how. Ducks, waterfowl, thermal hoodies. 
the warmest thing on earth. We have a bunch of hats over there. You can go down in the description below, click the link, go pick you something up. Got a bunch of stuff over there, something for everybody. And if you haven't, you need to hit that little notification bell down there. It notifies you when your boy does upload. And be sure to subscribe because hunting, trapping videos coming at you all season long. It's only December, y'all. We still got a while to go here. Plus, we got old Freddy. Old Freddy, Mickey, Rico. We hunted pigeons this morning with Bond's daddy, Jordan, Brad from Ducks, Nick Costas from Dive Bomb. So be expecting some awesome videos coming y'all way. But until next time, y'all.